Hello everyone. This is a tutorial for my simple to build bedrock wizard cage tree farm. This is a very simple tree farm that uses a certain bedrock location in the nether uh, which can safely contain a wizard. So on its own the wizard uh, can't escape unless you do something stupid. So you need a certain uh, bedrock formation. I will link uh, the list by panda. Um, so basically you need a 3x3 out of bedrock at the lowest possible bedrock layer, which is 123. Then you need an airspace in between and then uh, another bedrock on top. And this is quite rare. Um, if you look in Panda's list, uh, you need to search for uh, locations that are marked best. Uh, the ones that are marked good um, are one higher, which, are, which isn't that good, so it might be possible. Uh, to build a tree farm there, but there's often other bedrock in a way, which, uh, yeah, the pistons need that space. Okay, uh, this is the one possible location at minus 600, 100, but I also prepared a another location, which is also uh, yeah suitable for a uh, yeah wizard bedrock cage. And let's uh, start by spawning in the wizard. Um, as long as you don't do anything stupid, like removing the cobble uh, wall under it, he is safe. So we can start by um, summoning the wizard and then uh, start building a farm around him. So do it like this, then add the skulls, and it has to be in the center. So as you can see there's uh, air in between and then another block on top, so that's why it's a perfect location. Okay. Okay, now he's safe and can't escape. So next you need a dispenser that will uh, damage the wizard. So here, yeah, it has to be two blocks away so he can't break it. He can break um, blocks under the 3 by 3 As a next step I set up the piston layout. So from the wizard cage there's um, one block in between and then have a yeah, two or three piston uh, wall facing into the um, bedrock cage. So blocks will be pushed in from here. And then um, you need to go down two and have this uh, double piston extender. So of course there's a sticky piston under there and make this little stair. And then from the lowest layer go eight blocks in that direction and also set up a double piston extender here and also could set up the leaf crushers so there are two blocks away from that double piston extender and yeah it's sticky pistons there will be locks in front of it and because we need to power this piston when it's when it's in that position so when it's here you will need a lock block here and that's why you can't have a uh, Another lock block in front of that, so you could use normal pistons in that locations. Okay. Next step, let's start powering the pistons. So start with the double piston extender stairs. All you need is a torch, so that already works, and it also retracts fine. And also for the other two. This, by the way, doesn't work in the latest snapshots. Um, I hope Mojang will fix this again. They stated that this, that this is intended behavior, the instant double piston extender rejection. Uh, yeah, I will also link uh, my bug report to that. Okay, so let's continue with the other pistons. So here, all we need is a repeater. And for those, redstone dust.
Okay, now this double piston extender. So you need some slabs to power it from the back. Also some slabs here. And then you need either a lock or a dirt block. And here you could also push in uh, the block from here to, to power this, so you would get more saplings. But in this case it would require a instant repeater and I want to keep it simple. Also you get enough saplings back anyway, so it's not really necessary. Okay, let's continue. A solid block here. Some slabs here. Redstone dust. Then a repeater on three here. And here on one. And it goes in there. Now let's also attach the sides here. So I need slabs again. And a solar block here. And then connect it from here. A repeater on one. And also do that for the other side. Now we also could uh, yeah, hook this up. So let's do it like not from here. That's easier. So I need a monostable here. And this is on three. Instant correction, this is on 4, and we also need another repeater here. Okay, let's continue with the dispenser. So, I'm going to make a dropper tower. 1, 2, 3, and then a dispenser in front facing to the dirt, and also a dropper here. And then, you could attach some hoppers for your bone min line, which I will add later. So I had to redirect the hopper line a little bit, so it goes like this. And yeah, let's continue with the tree detection. So you need a stick piston facing that direction and some solid block in front of it. Then a redstone block at the bottom and a dust on top. And you also want, don't want to, uh, uh, it facing to that dropper, so redirect it uh, with a tripwire hook. And then, yeah. Uh, this block here, and then let's connect it to this here. So, another slab, yep, like this. Okay, also need to cut the power, so use a repeater on two and solid block with a piston on top, uh, which, uh, which has a solid block in front and yeah, connect that. So next step, let's take care of the sapling collection. So need a dropper that uh, gives you the saplings back. It's here. Then you also need um, power for the tree detection. That didn't break anything. Uh, so redstone block here and uh, also a uh, redstone dust on the glowstone and then you need another redstone dust here because of some stupid bug um, so as you can see if there wouldn't be redstone dust 
this dust actually powers the dropper, I guess that's also a bug. So I just need one more here. And yeah, let's continue. We need some hoppers facing into the dropper. It goes all around. So cover five by five with the, with the hoppers wherever possible. And I'm too big. <laughs> okay, five by five is enough. Yep, like this. And then yeah, let's continue with the um, bone mill clock, which is also important for the detection. So a comparator clock here. This has to be a slab or a wood powered dropper. Okay. And and also powers the dropper that gives you the sapling spec and it's powered from the back and also the dropper tower has to be powered so redstone dust and a repeater so now also this dropper tower is powered We still need to power the double piston extender stairs. So from the tree detection, we go down two, like this. Then two repeaters. And one repeater goes in that direction. There's a piston on top to cut the power again. So, and go up to here, and also to the side, then to up again, and that block, and also into that block. And some dust, and a solid block here, same here. And done. So that you don't have to climb up each time to refill um, the dispenser. I added a dropper tower. Um, yeah, start here and add nine droppers. Yeah, this is a little bit of a problem, so actually you need to be at the first bedrock layer, but there's a really good chance that, that there isn't bedrock in a way, because um, yeah, bedrock at the lowest layer in a large quantity is quite rare, that, so that's why those locations are so rare, so yeah. Okay, um, also need to power it, so, and we only need to power it every second time. So that's why we could use a flip-flop. And some slaps powered. Also let's add some hoppers and a chest to refill the arrows or snowballs and also add the on off switch for the farm. And this turns on and off. Okay, so we could also yeah add some blocks to the floor. And 
and also add some chests for bone meal. So it is really up to you how many you want to use. Uh, yeah, let's use two. Okay. We also need uh, yeah storage for the logs, so you could do that here. That's again up to you how much storage you want. Eight chests, there's yes, plenty. And some hoppers. So you need some uh, yeah, ice, so the locks will be pushed over there. Uh, actually, I guess you don't even need ice, you could use normal blocks instead. Yeah, it doesn't hurt if you need to use ice. And also, yeah, some blocks around it, so the locks are less likely to fly out. There's, there's always some loss, but... It's okay. So that seals it off. And yeah, now also need to add um, locks or dirt in front of the pistons. And a row, a column of uh, again dirt or uh, lock blocks here, and you also want to, yeah, seal it off so so no saplings fly out, and it looks prettier. Okay, we're pretty much done. So now you need to fill it up a little bit with bone meal. And also make sure that you have enough arrows, snowball in there. And also one dispenser. And you could even add a system that would yeah, turn off the farm if you run out of uh, arrows so the farm can't break. So, yeah, there's a slab here. Could make a system that looks like a torch. On, yeah, like this. So, this would disable the farm if that hopper doesn't have arrows anymore. So, let's put a few in there. Also, in the chest so that it doesn't happen. Okay, now let's try it out. Hopefully it did everything right. Ah, uh, sorry, you need sticky pistons here. So I replaced the uh, pistons with sticky pistons and already tested a little bit, so it works fine. trees grow fine, also they get harvested, uh, but I noticed a little thing that happened to me, so if you redirect the redstone dust, um, yeah, re just replace it once, so this uh, gets an update, or the bone meal gets stuck, and yeah, it also works with oak trees, but for oak trees, you need to put a solid block here, so to uh, force it to only grow five high, or big oak trees could generate. Also, replace that again. So yeah, this farm works with um, birch and oak. 
Um, jungle trees would also grow there, but don't return enough saplings. Uh, spruce trees don't grow in there. Acacia trees grow in there, but th their branches um, yeah, would uh, yeah, destroy the farm sooner or later. And yeah, so the rates you get about 10,000 locks per hour, and yeah, works fine. Okay, but now we have a small and simple, uh, safe, wizard powered tree farm that yields a lot of locks. So, if you are interested in a more sophisticated tree farm that could also harvest um, spruce, acacia, and jungle trees, I will put a link to my universal tree farm. Uh, this one is a lot faster, but also a lot more complicated and bigger, and also uses a different uh, yeah, wizard cage. This one would be too small for that speed, so it would use the bedrock from the end portal. Link is in the video description. On a side note, I'm very close to a thousand subscribers, and my next video will be, some, will be something special I prepared for that. But yeah. I hope this video was helpful for you, have a good day and goodbye.